One of the cool things about having my own YouTube channel is that sometimes companies that I've never heard of will send me random products to test out and review. Now, a lot of these products are not so great to say the least, but then sometimes I get something so unexpectedly dope I just have to tell you about it. So today, let's talk about the Alpargali Puffer Jacket. What's up my dude, your friendly neighborhood Tony here and welcome back to the Spare Tech Room where I try to help you make better tech choices. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know I like to dabble in all different kinds of consumer tech from computers to cameras to cool bags and cases, but I've never really spent a lot of time on clothing tech until now. And yeah, this jacket is packed full of all kinds of cool tech. It kind of makes me feel like a winter wear Batman, if I'm being honest. Now, in full disclosure, Alpargali did send me this jacket to test out, but they are not paying me to make this video and they have no say over what I say in it. If you're not familiar with Alpargali, they're kind of an up and coming company that has had a lot of success with their first Kickstarter campaign, making an all weather jacket. And now they're looking to kickstart another campaign, this time for a lightweight jacket that can hold up to sub-zero temperatures. Okay, let's dive into my initial thoughts about this jacket, then we'll go step by step over its performance, design, fit, and just all the fun stuff to hopefully figure out if this is the winter jacket for you. To the top-down camera. All right, so here we are with the top-down view, and I will say that my first impressions taking this thing out of the bag is that it is exceptionally well made. It definitely feels lightweight, but also super durable. There's like no loose threads or anything like that. The materials are all very premium. And I also really dig the design. It's got a ton of pockets. It's not flashy or gaudy or anything like that. And you can easily dress it up or dress it down. And I love all the little touches, like check out this rubberized logo they have on the lapel, or I guess more like the right chest portion. It's subtle, but it really shows attention to detail. But more importantly, every bit that I touch is super comfy and it's just so well put together. Big props to the design department. Speaking of design, let me tell you about all the cool, nerdy, sciencey tech stuff that went into making this jacket. First of all, it has a Teflon coated shell that gives you really solid water resistance. So you're safe from rain or snow or anything like that. Beneath that is a millimeter of aerogel insulation. What's aerogel you ask? Oh, well, just one of the best thermal insulators in the world. Then you have a layer of Serona insulation, which is lightweight and breathable. Then beneath that, along the backside here is what's called graphene technology, which also just so happens to be more expensive than gold. I'm not kidding, Google it. All in all, this jacket is advertised as keeping you warm in temperatures all the way down to negative 40 degrees. Now, I'll keep it real. I live in Florida, so if it ever gets to negative 40 degrees here, we're all in trouble. So I can't tell you firsthand how this thing holds up in freezing temperatures, but another YouTuber I really dig who lives in Vancouver says that it holds up to his $900 Arcteryx jacket. So I'm gonna take his word for it. His name's Desi Chang, he has no idea who I am, but I'll link to his video in the description box if you wanna show him some love too. I'll also link to the Kickstarter for this jacket down there if you wanna check that out. There's only a few days left in it and you can currently get the jacket for half off if you sign up now. So definitely check that out if you're interested at all. All right, so it's super comfy. It's full of all kinds of tech. How does it fit and feel? Well, first off, I'll have you know, I'm not a model, surprise, surprise, and I can't stand companies that are like, doesn't this look fantastic on this specimen of a 6'2 shredded man? Yeah, of course it does. But how does it look on a slightly chubby 5'8 guy in his 30s? Well, ask no longer. Behold. Now, I'm normally a size medium when it comes to shirts and jackets, but I sent Alpargali my measurements and they recommended I go with their large. And yeah, it fits pretty well. You'll want to check out the measurement tool on the Kickstarter page though to make sure that you're getting the right fit for you. So okay, let's walk through this jacket a little bit. Now the fit, like I said, is pretty spot on. I was worried that it would be a little long, especially going with a large and being only 5'8", but it seems to fall exactly where you want a jacket like this to fall. I will say the sleeves are a little bit long, but I think that really makes sense for a more cold weather winter jacket. You want to be able to kind of cover your hands a little bit, and it has these Velcro straps that you can tighten that down if you want to be able to stop wind or anything from getting up in there. As I mentioned before, the materials are really solid. It feels super lightweight, but I also feel very warm in here. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to wear this jacket and walk you through it. It's getting pretty toasty already. But you've got a lot of really cool features, great zippers, 
everywhere. I'll show those again in the top down view as well as some of the other features. So in fact, let's cut back to that real quick. All right, this is way better. I was getting real toasty in this thing, but let me walk you through some of the different features here. I know we talked a lot about the tech that went into it, but you have zippers galore, pockets galore. Like I mentioned, I believe there are nine of them on here. You have this front chest pocket that you can reach into and just store things quick and easy. I should also mention all of the zippers are YKK and they have these little tassels on them so they're easy to grab and to move around. Also on the front, the main zipper here, which is pretty cool, it actually has two different zippers. So if you have it zipped up all the way, you can bring the top down to open up like the chest area to breathe out or you can open up the bottom portion, unzip that to kind of uh, let your, your waist breathe, I guess. You also have two different zippered compartments where you would normally have them here. There's plenty of space in here. I believe this side has, if I'm not mistaken, yes, it has a lanyard here, which is pretty cool. So you can clip your keys in there or what have you. You've got some drawstrings at the top here to tighten up that neck area to help keep you without getting a lot of cold air into the jacket. Then on the inside left breastplate, you have this huge pocket here, which they advertise as being able to fit an entire iPad, which I definitely don't doubt. In fact, I don't have an iPad, but I do have this 8.8 .8 inch Android tablet. And yeah, no problem. You can toss that right in there and there's plenty of space. There's also a pocket within that pocket. So you can separate a few things in there as well. Also inside the jacket, you have these breathable mesh areas where your pits would be to help air that out. So even if you get pretty hot, you're not gonna get all sweaty and gross. Along the back is that graphene technology that we talked about. On the neck area, you have this super soft and comfy, I'm not sure what material this is, but it feels great on your neck. And also on this part, which is gonna oftentimes bump up against your face, they made sure to put really soft materials here. Moving over to the other side, on the inside of your right side of the jacket, you have a couple more pockets here. There's this mesh one towards the bottom, which also has plenty of space and another lanyard. So you can attach whatever you want in there. You also have this pocket here, which has a Velcro way of closing it. You can probably just throw your phone in there, I'd imagine. Another pocket that they have here, actually two more, are on the sleeves. So on your right sleeve, you have this pocket up towards your, your upper arm that you can throw things in. And you guessed it, another lanyard in there. Then on your left sleeve, this is a pretty cool feature. This is more towards the forearm where you have this reflective surface. There's a few different reflective pieces on here, which is nice considering that this jacket is black. You want to make sure that you have some way of being seen at nighttime. It does also come in like this camel color. So if you don't like black, if you more prefer like a light brown, that option is there for you as well. But here you've got this little tiny pocket. They advertise it as somewhere where you can throw like a Metro card. So you can just have that in there and just scan that real easy when you're going through the subway or whatever Metro service that you have in your city. Then let's see, I think one other thing is you have these, um, also these pull strings at the bottom so you can tighten down your waist all to kind of keep you insulated and keep cold air from getting in while you're trying to stay warm in those frigid winter months. Aside from that, the hood is really solid. It's also very well insulated and padded and you have that reflective labeling up here. It's interesting that they decided to go with it upside down in this way. I guess if you're not wearing the hood, it would be right side up for people that are behind you. But when you have the hood on and down a bit, the logo is gonna be upside down for anyone that sees you. But I imagine you're probably not wearing the hood as often as you are. Okay, I think that about covers it. Let's go ahead and jump back to the main camera and wrap this whole thing up. The Alpargali puffer jacket is a legit contender in the world of winter wear. It's lightweight, stylish, and packed with some seriously impressive tech. From the aerogel and graphene insulation to the thoughtful design features like the pockets, the pull strings, and the hood, it's clear that a lot of care went into making this jacket. If you're interested in checking it out, I'll link to the Kickstarter page in the description box below. Like I said earlier, there's only a few days left to snag it at the discounted price, so don't wait if you're curious. And hey, if you found this review helpful, do me a solid and hit the like button. It really helps the channel out and lets me know that you want to see more content like this. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I cover all kinds of tech from gadgets to gear, and I'd love for you to stick around. As always, if you have any questions about the jacket or if you want to see more tests, drop a comment below. I'm always happy to help. Otherwise, that's it for me today. All right, thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you next time in the spare tech room. Be good.